sausage? Sausage! Who is it? Afternoon, monkeys. John from Yorkshire Monkey. I hope you're doing well. Right, this is from the Reading Chronicle, and it, I missed it. Middle of August. But uh, Thames Valley police officers kicked out in secret. Revealed. Dan, dan, dan. The Bucks Free Press and Reading Chronicle can today reveal the identity of police officers who were kicked out of the force without the public being told their names. An investigation into previously unearthed records has found that names of Thames Valley police officers secretly dismissed following misconduct hearings. Their breaches range from racist messaging, using police phones, turning up to work while drunk, developing a personal relationship with a woman met on duty, and accessing police systems for unauthorised checks. Although Thames Valley Police made their names secret, a disciplinary process meant their names went on the Public College of Policing Bard list. All Bard officers should be placed on the public list, except in cases that would cause serious harm, government regulations state. This newspaper has seen the data published following an investigation with our sister title, The Brighton Argus, in collaboration with a new statesman into records of officers dismissed for serious breaches. Thames Valley Police said every hearing has an appointed legally qualified chair and it is their responsibility to determine whether a hearing should be heard in public or private. The following cases are found on the public police barred list. According to legislation, no information should be put on the list that would be against the interests of national security, might prejudice the investigation of a criminal or civil proceedings, or result in a significant risk of harm to any person. Police officers who were secretly kicked out or quit the Thames Valley Police. Nigel Melvin Snell left the force on May the 13th, 2018 after conducting unauthorised checks on police databases by checking the names of two people without a policing process. Mr Snell, who was police constable, quit the Thames Valley Police before a misconduct hearing took place, receiving a caution for these offences and would have been dismissed as a serving officer had he not already resigned. Key, however that's pronounced, was kicked out on January 23rd, 2019. It was found that he made inappropriate contact with a vulnerable person while on duty. Sean Trevor Nains resigned from the force February 11th, 2019 when traces of cocaine were found on him. The bad list record states the former officer provided a hair sample for drugs testing for an application to transfer to another police force. The sample tested positive for cocaine. The misconduct hearing found he would have been dismissed had he not already left the force. Daniel Michael James Godden was kicked out of the force November 29, 2019. The misconduct hearing he found that the constable had exhibited threatening and intimidating behaviour that caused another person to feel serious alarm or distress. Matthew Edgar Gardner quit Thames Valley Police on July 13th, 2020. The bad list states that his behaviour in relationship to a number of incidents between December 2018 and June 2019 amounted to discreditable conduct. The hearing would have found he would have been dismissed had he still been serving. Nicola Jane Butler dropped out of the force on January 6, 2021 after making inappropriate comments of a sexual nature and behaving inappropriate towards colleagues and a member of the public. Blad, she not resigned, blah, blah, blah. Mark David Dunthan was kicked out of the force on January 12, 2021 after developing a personal relationship with a woman he met while investigating a man she was related to. The bad list states that while investigating Mr Y, the officer met Mrs X, who went on to form a relationship with. Some contact with Mrs, Mrs X was via text messages and emails on his work mobile phone and email account, which he later deleted. He's a bright spark. Richard Crooks, oh, what a name. Was kicked out of the force on March 29th, 2021 after he arrived at work while under the influence of alcohol. When he gave a breath test, he gave readings of 31 and 28 micrograms of alcohol per 100 millilitres of breath. The acceptable level for on-duty police officer is 13 micrograms. Should there be any? Should you not be clear? 
In terms of other place, I've already published details of 40 bad officers found in this sample, in the sample. This is, be, is because the force has published their names as public record through press releases. Blah, 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 blah. And that looks like it's your lot for this one. So, there you go. A load of them sacked in secret. Not anymore. Okay, monkeys. Smash that like button for me. Leave me a comment. I love reading them. And we'll catch you soon. Stay safe, monkeys.